Hello everybody, my name is Vinay Jacob John. Please visit my two websites jesusheelsministries.org and also prayingtongues.org. Today we are going to read about praying in the Holy Spirit in tongues. Let's turn to the book of 2 Chronicles in the Old Testament of the Holy Bible. 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 If my people, says Jehovah, which are called by my name, Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and repent from their sins and turn away from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, says Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Also, the book of Luke in the New Testament of the Holy Bible, Luke chapter 18, Verse 3, And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary, the devil, or the devil is Satan. Verse 5, Yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. Verse 7, And our Lord God Jehovah shall avenge us all of our enemy, we are Jesus' own elect or chosen ones. We cry out day and night to you, Jesus, and you hear our prayers. Verse 8, I tell you that Jehovah will avenge us, Jehovah's elect, speedily. Also, the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. Ephesians is in the New Testament of the Holy Bible. Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Holy Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Also the book of Philippians. Philippians is in the New Testament of the Holy Bible. Philippians chapter 1 verse 9. And this I pray, said Father, Saint Apostle Paul, that our love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment Verse 10, that we may approve things that are excellent, that we may be sincere and without offense and without sin, transgression, iniquity, till the day of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Verse 11, and we being fulfilled with the fruits of righteousness, because Jesus Christ of Nazareth lives in our spirit, man, soul, mind, will, and emotions, and body. Unto the glory and praise of our Lord God, Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Also, the book of Timothy in the New Testament of the Holy Bible, 1 Timothy chapter 2. I, says Father Paul, I, Father, Saint, Apostle Paul, exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Verse 3, For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Saviour Jesus. Verse 4, Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life eternal. Verse 5, For there is one God, Jehovah, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and one mediator between our Lord God, Jehovah, and man here on this planet earth, and for all who are in heaven above and those who are in hell below. The man Christ Jesus of Nazareth. Verse 6, You gave yourself for us all, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as a ransom, and you will be testified in due time. Lord Jesus, our Lord Jesus is coming soon, so we got to be ready. And we have to be holy and blameless without sin. And we have to be perfect. The Bible also says, when the gospel is preached to all nations and everyone has heard the name of Jesus, then Jesus shall come. And we shall see Jesus face to face on that glorious day. And we shall be with our Lord Jesus, Jehovah and Holy Spirit forevermore. Thank you everybody for listening to me today. Please visit my website www.prayintowns.org.
If you want to know more about praying tongues, please visit my website prayingtongues.org. Also, please visit my friend's website Jesse Duplantis Ministries, the Evangelist, www.jdm.org, and also Christians United for Israel, www.cufi.org. Please visit my spiritual father's church's website. My spiritual father's name is Pastor Michael Paul Vergis, and the name of Pastor Michael Paul Vergis's church is Grace Chapel. www. Grace Chapel, G R A C E C H A P E L dot O R G dot I N. Also, please visit my website, which is about the healing power of Jesus. www. dot Jesus Heals Ministries dot O R G. Jesus loves us all. Jesus heals us all. Jesus provides for us all. Always in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.